hey everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see today we have the micra up on the rams you might have seen the micra it's a nissan micra 2005 1.2 liter petrol automatic uh, you might have seen this micra in my videos it belongs to my mother and today we're trying to do an oil change and stuff so i thought i'll just make a video it might help somebody out there so what we have today is what you're going to need is the oil filter of course the oil the air filter and 14 millimeter socket for the drain plug and uh, i'm using 5w30 fully synthetic uh, you can refer to your owner's manual to get the proper one in your area like and uh, and this is the one i had around the place as well and from the owner's manual i can see it suits so that's what i'm going to be using and uh, of course get the car up to running temperature you know have a few drive around uh, around the place and uh, what i've done then is i've taken off the oil filler cap and also we must you know just relieve this as well a small bit just for the oil to flow better so i'll just crack in i'll actually show you the oil drain location and of course you're going to need oil drain or some pan like or something and uh, as you can see on the right hand side the driver side here's the sump and there is the drain plug i have it kind of broken like you know i've kind of broken it loose small bit and uh, then let's go further in small bit show you the oil filter hopefully yep yeah, here it is so as you can see i have the oil filter opener tool and hooked into it already it's kind of a bit awkward as compared to some of them because uh, you know the axle are in the way but you know you get it on and you can loosen it up and hopefully it'd be easier to put the new one on and uh, i'll just go ahead and I'm just gonna show you when opening the thing I hope it's not as messy. Oh yeah. That wasn't that bad. I just crack the thing towards the hole. As you can see, so you let the oil drop. Here's your oil drain plug. You can also go ahead and you know, maybe give it a clean or actually it's also a good practice to put a new one. And uh, as you can see, I have the oil filler cap put on and the uh, oil lipstick as well. You can check the level and it uh, should be okay and should run smoother than before and hopefully help increase the life of the engines. Just uh, another small thing to add to the oil change video that uh, I've also done the air filter. I'll just I have it all in place now but i'll just give you a tutorial you can see the old one was in fairly bad condition so what you do is what i uh, think is the best way to just if you have a screw here or if you don't just try to pull this pipe out this hose out of the way you can just slide it to the side or also just take you know unplug it from here as well in there and uh, you have one clip here which should be easy enough to take out and the same goes this one is kind of top mounted you just lift it out like that and uh, there are two sort of clips one is there here and the other one is just there on the other side so what you have to do is you're gonna you have to push it down and slide out it kind of comes at an angle like this and the oil filter is sitting like that uh, sorry the air filter is sitting like this that kind of metal kind of side up top and the rubber side sits on the bottom box and uh, that should be it you just went, go ahead then and uh, try to have the, the clip thing out of the way before pushing in you can just push it up at an angle and it should slide like this and then you can put the hose back the air pipe or hose in here as well and there you go thanks for watching again and make sure to check out the other videos and we'll see you in another video